Okay, so I'm walking the dog and it's about sundown and last night I went to see Jason Bourne so I thought I might give you an official movie review of Jason Bourne so I haven't seen any of the other Bourne movies starring Matt Damon but this one was pretty good I'd probably give it maybe like six out of ten it was a lot of violent scenes oh sorry I've got my earplugs in because I'm walking the dog so I did had to do this a bit like close my eyes and block my ears for a bit of the movie and um oops there was a long car chase scene which was pretty amazing James Bond-esque it was a very dramatic movie there was a lot of CIA spies good ones and bad ones and I was like is he a good one or a bad one is he following the rules or is he not so got lost a bit but I did like all of the the tricky sort of beeping computer graphic sort of stuff that happens as they're trying to track down the spy and where they are in their location and it also took us to heaps of locations so the border of Greece and Serbia Reykjavik Iceland hello to my friend Cynthia in Iceland and Athens was it Athens yeah Athens Rome London Las Vegas so I like that sort of globe hopping that happens in those movies so that was enjoyable the main star was a woman called Alicia something sorry I've forgotten her name she was really good she didn't have she was very sort of calculating and she didn't say much but she was good and she was on the good guy's side until a bit of a twist at the end so I would recommend it I think my husband liked it it's a very sort of um, <sighs> male film lots of young energy in that movie six out of ten Jason Bourne did you see it what did you think and you might get another movie review from me on Wednesday because I'm going to see Love and Friendship, the Jane Austen movie, on Tuesday night. See you tomorrow. Bye.